Thank you. It's 607 all new for you this morning. Do you remember the days in school where everyone would pile into the gym or the cafeteria and listen to a police officer talk about the dangers of drugs and alcohol? The D.A.R.E. program. It was established in 1983 in L.A., but then they discontinued it in 2009. In a 2004 review by the National Institutes of Health, there was no significant difference between D.A.R.E. and non-D.A.R.E. participants. And then an article in 1998 by PBS reported the program cost taxpayers $600 million a year today. That'd be shy of $1.1 billion. But now, more than 10 years of it being on the shelf, one Buffalo Common Council member wants to bring the program back with a twist. Our 7 News reporter Jordan Johnson here with us this morning to break it all down. Hi, Jordan. Good morning. Good morning to you, Ed and Katie. Buffalo Common Councilman Brian Bowman tells me it was you, the parents, who sparked an idea in his mind to better protect students in and out of the classroom. Councilman Bowman says a number of parents asked him in a meeting earlier this month about what happened to the program. And as the education committee chair that got his mind rolling on potentially bringing back the program to prevent students from doing drugs and drinking alcohol while also fostering a good relationship with law enforcement. Just engaging the school resource officers, our community officers in the in the schools. But I do think the D.A.R.E. program could be a good first step to get us in and maybe have different agencies come in and work together, collaborate um, to be a positive influence on our kids. That's really what it's about. A revamped version of D.A.R.E. has shown success in recent years. D.A.R.E. keeping it real features extensive 10 to 45 minute lessons for students. And a study by UNC in Greensboro found four months after finishing the program, there was a decrease in the use of alcohol, vaping and smoking marijuana among students who were in the program compared to a group who was not. And Councilman Bowman will be holding a public meeting tomorrow at 11 a.m. in the council chambers to discuss potentially bringing this program back to Buffalo Public Schools. Live in studio, Jordan Johnson, 7 News. Jordan, thank you. It's